Hello and welcome to Real Time Signals. Today we are going to discuss a project called Credit Card Fraud Detection. Here I got a data set called Credit Card.csv. This is available in Kaggle.com. You can register an account and get it for free. So here you can see this has got 28 features um, which is uh, determining the class or you can say the label whether these transactions are fraud or not so first when you get a data you need to do a pre-processing so this is about 284,000 data among them 284,315 are not fraud 492 are fraud data fraud class detected as fraud class so then i'm going to this here this column called class is basically is labeled and you can obviously you have to import pandas numpy and scikit-learn then you can do a basic visualization and do some pre-processing on this data like i did histogram and stuff like that so you can perhaps do that for your understanding so that you can come up with algorithm with the, the right machine learning algorithm so in my case, uh, I knew what to do because uh, I had some idea and I'm going to apply some classifications, algorithms. So first I did a classification algorithm called Gaussian Naive Base. So here I do a fit and then do a confusion matrix and find out the prediction. The score of this, mat of this algorithm is 90. 9.23 then I did another algorithm which is called as decision tree and there my score of that algorithm is 99.89 percent the main thing which I would like to do here is to run another classifier which is majority voting which uses both the estimator decision tree and Gaussian line base and then use a majority voting technique classifier to predict the result. That's the main thing here. So when I do that and I use voting classifier which is available in your scikit-learn and when I look at the score of this algorithm it is 99.93 which is better than 99.89 and 99.2 in uh, decision tree and Gaussian knife base so definitely this has increased this the performance has improved by using your algorithm of majority voting or voting classifier then just for my understanding, I have run another algorithm to, to see the performance here. Okay. Um, I'm going to take you through that just in a bit. But before that, you just pay attention here. You can, in your classifier, you can do not only two estimators, but you can go for more than that. This is one of the way to improve your performance or to improve your score of the algorithm. And it's for sure it worked for me in this case. So I encourage you to go for this kind of classifier. Another thing you can do is random forest classifier. But that is very slow compared to this one. And a random uh, classifier forest classifier is only going to work on decision tree you cannot com combine 
various estimators like decision tree, Gaussian I-base, and others. So here you can see that you combine these two models called decision tree and I-base. You performance improved, improved, and you got a um, prediction as the score is 99.9%. So then, just for my understanding, I did another algorithm. So I'm going to take you through now. The other algorithm is basically this is Gaussian, my base, decision tree, um, then. Yeah, obviously, yeah, you, you know how to get the score, I think. You are dis if you are not, if you don't know, then maybe you can learn uh, how to get the score. Then I run another algorithm called AdaBoost classifier, which is another classifier, which is uh, one of the popular nowadays. So I tried that as well, just to see the performance here. Again, I ran the classifier and then I did a prediction and my output and my score is 99.899%, which is still inferior compared to the majority voting classifier, which uses two different algorithms. So that's the main essence here.